can tell you the truth i am more comfortable today than i was 10 years ago than i was 20 years ago but believe me i stand before the god of heaven nothing added to my life today has made me happier no i know you won't believe it but it is true i found out that no matter how many beds i have in my house all of me only lies down on one side not even the whole bed whether you is rectangular or whatever it is one side there will always be an empty side you sit down on the many chairs you have no matter your size it will be one chair at a time you can't cut one of your leg and put in one jeep cut one and put in another one all of you can only enter one look at me no matter how greedy you are your hand will only hold one spoon at a time even if you eat with the serving spoon is still one counts at one i will never teach you mediocrity but again i love you too much to allow you have a miserable quest for things that will cost you your eternal destiny and will cost you your peace anything that wants to take your peace is not worth it i repeat anything that wants to bargain with your peace is not worth it whether politics whatever it is no parents some of you have children that are extremely stubborn and are giving you headache and right now your concern is not the rehabilitation of the children your concern is your ego and your reputation so that you are not perceived as having lived a failed life can i encourage you by the grace of god ignore the naysayers find peace god knows you have done your best as a parent even judas was part of the ones that jesus worked with and even jesus if you rated him based on judas you would say jesus failed some of you here you've been downsized you lost your job when you started this year god spoke so powerfully about the year and by now you've lost your job you are just sitting down here saying apostle i don't even know among the many things you should not tell yourself is never tell yourself you're a failure simply because where you get up and go to every six to five decided to send you away and you carry this treasure that you are called and say you are a failure simply because nothing around your life actually makes you a success or a failure it is a definition of your perception especially when it has to do with fulfillment if we don't teach this let me tell you you see this thing called ritual killing is only at its infancy you will start seeing people do unbelievable things because society has defined a narrative if i am 25 years old and i cannot buy a jeep and stay in a mansion i'm a failure if we sell that narrative let me tell you the generation coming will surprise us you will see witchcraft at levels you have never seen before because the obsession to show preachers we have to be careful respectfully speaking the reason why you see many people getting under pressure especially younger ministers going everywhere to receive laying on of hands going to go and do all kinds of demonic things do you know why because we have sold a narrative if there is a crowd here down to the basement overflow there are posters everywhere there's the protocol walking with you apostle joshua selman you are so successful and a young man will be watching and say ah my life must be like this i give myself until now to september and god is saying son you have peace be patient i'm working on you and you say no my colleagues have gone be careful with this colleague thing my colleagues have gone ahead of me they now have houses i am here your destiny is not the same god is building and making something out of you and can i tell you let me give you a kind advice if you are part of social media groups that sell some of this nonsense to you and they start torturing your peace how do you can you go out of that thing go out of it immediately it's not by force give yourself peace 
don't look at your cloth and say my own cloth is 500 naira until i start buying clothes of 1 million who, who told you that show me the verse and the scripture now, again i will repeat i'm not teaching you mediocrity i'm showing you the pathway to genuine fulfillment can i tell you little with peace is much you don't know the worth of peace until your days are wrapping up when you are not somebody who has the time limited you may not see how expensive peace is i found a reason why i sing 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 jesus the 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 reason why i see